Well, signs that read no outside food or drinks are posted in many movie theaters. You've possibly seen them yourself. But one Manatee County family tells SNN's John Woodruff tonight that policy put their 16-year-old son's health in jeopardy. What happened, John? Well, Mike, for diabetics, a juice box or a protein bar can be an important medical supply. And for a teenager who has to check his blood sugar every two hours, they're essential to an afternoon at the movies. Last Saturday, Ryan Simmons went to the Lakewood Ranch Cinemas to see a movie with a group of friends. When a manager asked to search his bag, Simmons obliged. When I gave him my bag, he said, well, you cannot bring this food in with you. And I explained to him that I'm a diabetic and that the food inside of my bag is necessary. Simmons was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in March. Since then, he began carrying protein bars and juice boxes to regulate his blood sugar. Two things the manager at Lakewood Ranch Cinemas wouldn't let him take into the theater. He as well pointed to the concession stand on the other side of the room, saying you can buy what you need to buy over there. But the snacks that I contain in my bag are specific for me. Ryan's father, Chad, says his son needs to know exactly how much of a boost his blood sugar will get from foods. And the juice available at the theater has a different sugar content than his normal juice boxes, making Ryan's reaction to it unpredictable. He says what was even more shocking was the theater manager's other solution to Ryan's problem. The manager was uh, just sort of unsympathetic and told him, if you're having a bad, bad medical day, then you shouldn't come to the movies. And if you don't like our policies, then go find a different movie theater. We were angry, we didn't understand why um, an adult would speak to a 16-year-old that way. The Sarasota Film Society did send Simmons an email apologizing for the incident. But he says until the theater makes some changes, their family will be seeing movies somewhere else. We want that written policy changed. We want it changed specifically to protect um, diabetics and people with other special needs so that they can't be discriminated against. The email apology sent to Simmons says no malice was intended. And to prevent this from happening again, the employees involved in the incident have been spoken to. Hmm. All right, John, thank you.